My name is Lou Ann Best and this is Twiggy, the water skiing squirrel. I've been doing this since 1979. We got the first Twiggy back in 1978 when she was blown out of her nest after a hurricane. We took her home and nursed her back to health. And it was my husband and I. My husband ended up buying our daughter this little remote control boat for her birthday. So everybody started teasing him saying that he bought it for himself, not for her, and he wasn't gonna own up to that. So he just said, now I have to learn to drive it so I can teach my squirrel to water ski with it. And that's where the idea came from. It was totally a joke. My husband was a nut. He was always inventing things. So he made Twiggy some skis out of styrofoam. Then we worked with her in the water. And before long, she was water skiing. Twiggy loves to perform in front of people. You notice when she's out there, and the more people that are around looking at her, the, the more she loves it, you know, the hams. You know, they're natural hands. If you ever see a squirrel in the wild, they're going to go out and tease you, if they, especially if they see a dog or an animal. Or, you know, they're going to tease them all the time. It's just part of their playfulness. I'm a rehabilitator, so I take in orphans and release them back into the wild when they get old enough. Uh, and I pick, you know, my twiggies. Usually I don't keep more than about two or three um, squirrels, you know, to train as twiggies. The rest of them I release back into the wild. We travel all over um, promoting water safety because in November, on November 15th of 1997, my husband um, jumped in the water to save his stepfather who had fallen off the boat. His stepfather didn't know how to swim, he didn't know how to float, and he didn't have his life jacket on. And my husband knew how to do all that, but he forgot to grab a life jacket before he jumped in to help. And drowning people don't mean to hurt you, but they're gonna fight you and do whatever they can to get above the water and get air. So my husband ended up not coming home that day. So uh, I tell everybody he's up there in heaven now and he's saying, learn by my mistake. Learn to swim, learn to float, and wear your life jackets all the time when you're in the boat. So you can go out on the water and have a good time just like we always did as a family, but come home nice and safe.